Hey guys! So it's time for another monthly favourites and it feels like it was hardly any time ago that I actually filmed the last one because I think it went up quite late. Um, but July was actually quite a good month for me so, well the first, most of July I was feeling really frustrated, I was trying to find a new job and I hadn't found one but I have a new job now and um, so I'm starting on the 10th of August and it's my first ever job that um, will be salaried rather than like paid per hour and I won't have to work weekends or evenings anymore um, I'm really really excited it's not like my dream job or anything um, but it is kind of closer to what I want to do so yeah I feel like it's a massive massive step forward for me I can finally actually afford to do things um, and not be completely ashamed when I have to meet up with all my friends from uni and they've got all these crazy cool jobs in London and I have to just tell them that I'm a waitress. Um, I'm feeling quite sad to leave all my friends at my old job um, because I think I mentioned before basically I moved to a new town so the job that I currently have because my notice lasts for another couple of days um, I was the first job that I got in this new town so all my friends but I think two people actually work there um, so it's, it's been quite challenging for me with my anxiety to kind of think about leaving and going somewhere new and not seeing them all the time anymore but I really really do think we're going to keep in touch and still meet up quite regularly so that should be nice um, what else happened I went to the bone cancer ball um, I haven't really spoken about it on my YouTube channel but my sister when she was eight was diagnosed with a really rare form of bone cancer so she does a lot of work with the Bone Cancer Research Trust, I'll link it in the description box and it's a really really good charity, it's not funded by the government at all so they have to do all their own fundraising and they don't get any money from cancer research and they do all this research with PhD students into bone cancer, what causes it and they actually, when my sister was first diagnosed with hers, um, she had Ewing sarcoma in her right femur, and I think it was, it was in her thigh, and um, when they first diagnosed her they didn't know what caused it, but the Bone Cancer Research Trust, I believe, has now discovered what it is, like what, how it comes about, it's nothing that you can kind of prevent, but they know what causes it, so that should hopefully help with treatment in the future and yeah it's obviously a really really good charity, it's something that we really support because we've got a kind of personal sort of touch with it and it, the ball was really lovely, um, we had, there was a raffle, there was a photo booth and it was really really fun to kind of like actually get to see my sister and because she lives quite far away now and do something like that together that was a bit special and to get all dressed up so they were kind of my two highlights of July I obviously I carried on I did a couple more driving lessons which was really fab um, and now in August I've obviously said I'm gonna start my new job and it's my sister's birthday in three days now so we're going down me and my partner are gonna go down um, to Slough where she, my mum lives and me and my sister and him are all going to go into London for a couple of days and then we're going down to Brighton and I've never been to Brighton before so I'm really really excited for that and yeah starting a new job got to buy some new clothes for it which is always fab so that's kind of my look into August and now it's time for favourites uh, I actually I sat down to film this and I was like oh my god I don't have any favourites what the hell and then I started thinking about things and I found about 10 things that I love um, I've whittled it down but these are some major, major favourites that I feel like I can't live without at the moment. So the first, I'll do beauty first because I usually do. So the first up, I'm really worried about this like melting under my lights. But it's the Soak and Float Shampoo Bar from Lush. Um, it smells absolutely amazing. I've used so many of their shampoo bars now. I've got a couple of videos about how to use solid shampoo. I will link one of them below so that you know. And basically... It's got loads of rose in, it's got rose petals in, which is why it looks like this. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of rose normally, but it smells amazing. I'm not sure what else it's got in it. So it's got cedarwood, rose oil, talker, marigold petals, rose petals, um, citronello, and it's got some kind of like other citrusy oils. 
and it's basically meant to be really good for dandruff because I've had a lot of problem with it recently. I haven't had a problem with dandruff in about 10 years. I used to really struggle with it when I was kind of in my early teens and then it went away and now it's come back which is fab. So yeah the shampoo bar is something that actually I've used it only twice so far and I've really really noticed a big difference in how my dandruff is. So that's that. Um, next up is this which I really never envisioned me talking about in a favourites. It's the So Wild Berries Body Mist. I've basically had this in my bag at work because I work as a waitress as I've mentioned and on long shifts when you're wearing black clothes in the middle of summer things can get unpleasant. Like I'm not saying I stink but um, Obviously you want to smell really fresh and so I've been, I've had this like on the back of the bar at work and everybody has just been using it to freshen up mid-shift. It's really, really nice. It's kind of like just nice to have something that you can spritz on you and it smells really, really sweet, which is my fave. And then the last beauty favourite that I've got is this L'Oreal Hydrogenius Genius Aloe Water. I basically have combination skin. Um, Parts of it are really, really dry, so my forehead is really, really dry. But around here is really oily and I've had loads of problems with spots recently, especially kind of like here. Um, and I've found that any other creams that I have just make me break out. They make me far too oily at the moment and my skin just can't hack it. But this is a really, really nice balance. This is the one for yeah, normal to combination skin. Um, so you use it in the morning and the evening usually I just use it in the morning but my skin really really feels like it's tight in the morning after I've washed my face and I need something and this is perfect it makes my skin hydrated it doesn't make it greasy at all and it doesn't kind of make my oily areas flare up at all and it's really pretty as well I really like the packaging and then one little food bit is it's got rabbit hair on it because I filmed a little video with my bunny earlier which will be going up soon. Um, it's a super green tea detox tea. It's minty. It kind of tastes like spearmint and I'm not a big fan of peppermint tea. I will drink it but it's not my favourite but this is like a really nice kind of subtle. Yeah it definitely tastes more like spearmint and it's meant to help protect cells from oxidative stress and it's got selenium in as well. Um, yeah it's kind of like it really really helps me to like feel less bloated. And then we have some kind of lifestyle-y bits, I guess you'd call them. So this is the, a daily journal and it's from Oh Dear. I got it in Urban Outfitters. The back cover's really dirty and that makes me sad. But look how pretty it is. It's got all these little peaches all over it and it just says daily journal. And inside, I absolutely love it. So each page, it's got the day, the month, today's objective, notes, to do, next three objectives or projects and a timetable that goes from 6am till midnight. I absolutely love it. I've filled in every single day with all my bills, um, anything that's coming up until the end of December. Um, I really, really, I just really, I've always had diaries that go mid-year to mid-year and I obviously needed a new one and I really wanted one that kind of actually let me um, have a page for each day. They've got a little space for doodles as well and I, yeah, I just absolutely love it. I'm obsessed. It's kind of my holy grail now. Every single thing that I do gets put in it. Um, I always have a to-do list for the day, so I put my most important things in here so that I know that I have to do them. I've got all my work hours because I work shifts, and yeah, it's just perfect, and they had a sale on, so I got it for £12, which I think is pretty good. And finally is a book that I really, I thought I would find interesting but didn't realise I'd like as much as I have. So it's Eat, Pray, Love. Everybody's heard of it. I've never seen the film but I love, what's her name? Julia Roberts. <laughs> like in everything. So I really want to watch the film and I'm on the prey section at the moment and I didn't realise how much it would make me think about like, like being on a like spiritual journey through life. Um, but it really, really has. Basically, it's not a kind of, it's not a Christian book as such. Um, the woman in it, she goes to an ashram in India and basically there's a, a, a kind of like yogic guru that lives there and they have, they 
sing in Sanskrit every morning and do yoga and do meditation and like bring themselves closer to whatever form of God they feel. Um, so it's, yeah, it's not Christian, it's not, um, it's not like Jewish or Islam or anything, it's just whatever religion you feel closest to or even no religion, just getting closer to knowing your own self more. Um, yeah, and so I found that really, really interesting. And that's it. Um, that's my favourites for the month. I had quite a good month and I'm so excited to start this new job. I've officially done my last shift at my current job and as you guys will probably know if you've been watching my favourites, I have been searching for a job for months. I just don't want to work weekends anymore. I used to really like the whole not having a routine. Like, I did not want to work five days a week and have two days off. I wanted to work three days in a row, have one day off, two days, have one day off. Um, I didn't want a regular routine. I just didn't, after being at uni and being told where I had to be all the time and being at school, I just wanted the kind of freedom of not having a routine. So yeah, <laughs> that's why I really liked bar work and being a waitress at first, but now I feel like I really need to kind of get back into that zone where I can actually commit to doing things. <laughs> so I really hope you liked this video. I'm sorry it was quite rambly. Um, please give it a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more videos. See you soon guys. Bye.